Hi everybody, I'm here with Chilita and we're here to tell you some exciting news of what's coming soon to Montrico. So we have a new product, it's called a Mancelopi. And this is a Mancelopi and Chilita likes it for sleeping on it, but it's also really good for spinning, uh, for knitting. And we have so much to tell you about where it comes from, what's so wonderful about it and how we can get it in your hands to try. So first of all, this is um, an unspun yarn. It's a pencil roving and it, um, it's very lightweight, it's carded, and it's very light and airy. It's very easy to work with, although it is very fragile. So what I like to say is we need to practice mindful knitting. So in 2022, let's practice some mindful knitting. So I'll show you a little bit about what I mean from that. Because there's no twist in this, it's very easy for it to break. If you wanna do a cast on, such as a long tail cast on, you just need to go gentle. If it breaks, it's no problem because you can just put it together and it will it'll stick together and knit nicely. I'll show you a little bit about this. So when I'm knitting, I just need to go a little bit loose. Generally, I knit continental style and I knit and I pull and tug at that fiber and it's never a problem. With Manchelopi, I need to just relax, lay back and practice mindful knitting. So once I cast on quite a few stitches, I'll do that while we're talking, I find that it's very easy to get used to knitting with it. Now the Manchilopi comes in a cake and you can most certainly knit it coming off the cake like this. And one of my friends, Lucy, is knitting with it and she's knitting a sweater and she just undoes maybe about five to 10 rounds uh, of it and then she can knit for a little while. I have found that I've seen in other videos that people sometimes will knit it in a ball. And I find when I have a pooch on my lap, it's perhaps the easiest way for me to go. It, I find I get used to knitting with it, although sometimes it gets caught in Chilita's tail and then it'll break. So here, I'll just do a few more cast on. And then we'll start knitting. So you don't ever wanna have a tight cast on and there you go. As I'm knitting this, I'll tell you a little bit about this. So this is a company, Wool Dreamers, and it's the primary people are Oscar and Ramon, who were two brothers-in-law, and they had a dream of working to bring back the Spanish Merino, similar to other companies that have done that, but also to look at other sheep and to see how can they bring them to a different audience and how can they bring them to um, to hand knitters. They also um, are part of a family that has owned a mill and has worked to, with wool for many, um, for, many, um, for many, many decades. And I think centuries, but I'll correct myself if I'm wrong on that one. So what's nice to know is that this um, is from the Manchega sheep. So if you like to cook, if you like to eat cheese, you may be familiar with the Manchego cheese. So this is the same sheep that uh, brings us the cheese. So as you can imagine, this is not typically a yarn that's used for knitting, hand knitting. It's been used maybe for other things where it's a little bit not so close to the skin, such as maybe wool rugs and whatnot. But what they've done by creating this pencil roving is they've made something that's nice and light and it's really quite pleasant close to the skin. It's easy to knit when you practice your mindful knitting because every once in a while I forget and I do break it. So what happens when you break the yarn? I'll show you that. So if you break it, that could happen. It gets caught up on your iPad or your cell phone. So what you can do is simply Put this, the two pieces in your hand and you can just twist a little bit so that it has a gentle ply. This then, when you're knitting, it just continues and it's as solid as can be. I'll show you on this sweater that I'm knitting. So I'll take this off. So as you can see, with this sweater, I'm knitting, it's the Angle by Caitlin Hunter and I'll just move the mannequin over a little bit that once you've knit it, it's very strong and sturdy and you don't have to worry about it breaking when you wear it. 
Um, so there's no worry there. It creates a fabric that's very lightweight and it's very soft. So you get a very warm sweater without having to have a very heavy sweater. So um, I was able to do color work, no worries. I used the brown, I used the pale brown, and these are all natural colors. The pink is the, the fuchsia is the boucle from Julie Asselin. I wanted to add a bit of a pop of color. So as you can see, you want to be gentle when you uh, knit with it, but otherwise it's a very strong um, knitted piece. So you don't have to worry about that. I'll knit a little bit more here and I'll tell you a little bit more about um, about this. So the uh, the mill for Wool Dreamers is in Castilla-La Mancha. And one of the interesting things to note is that this all of this production is all done within a 100 kilometers. So you know the 100 mile diet, um, this is kind of like the 100 kilometer diet for knitters because these are all produced within 100 kilometers of the factory of Wool Dreamers. Obviously, if it's coming to Canada, it no longer has that 100 uh, K radius. But right now in Canada, we're not producing the kind of yarns that we can have with um, any kind of volume for hand knitters. There's a lot of great places that are starting like the Long, um, Long Way Homestead. And I'll put a link because I'm also part of um, their, their skein of the month. And I really encourage you to do that because you can learn about different bead breeds and they've been really great um, to learn. They're really instrumental in what's happening right now with the uh, wool um, in, uh, with sheep and wool in uh, Canada. So I can imagine some amazing things coming. So in the meantime, this is, so you see, I'm, I'm just knitting a ribbing and it looks, oh, no, not, I'm knitting garter stitch. Maybe I'll just do a little bit of stockinette to show you. So um, this is all um, the sheep graze and live within the 100 kilometers of the mill where this is done. They're all natural colors. So right now there are five natural colors and we will be getting all of them at Montrico. There's three new colors that they're um, gonna have for February, which is very exciting. And uh, we will carry those as well. And it actually knits as a DK weight because unlike a yarn like a Pluto Lopi, this is already wound in a cake with two strands. So these two strands together make one ply and it's, I would say it's about a DK. I would say it's about a DK or a worsted. If you put two of these together, you would get a bulky. And if you wanted to separate one of these, you would get a fingering. So you have 230 meters in one cake for 100 grams and you get 252 yards. So 252 yards is 230 meters and there you go. So if you would double it, you would get 115 meters and you'd get probably about a super bulky. I haven't tried that. I'm waiting till more yarn comes so that I could play with it on a bigger, um, on a bigger uh, scale. Uh, with bigger needles. I'm sure it'll go really, really fast and it'll be really lots of fun. So right now I'm just purling. It's not any dif uh, different. I'm not, I'm moving smoothly because I have it on a ball. It's able to pull and, um, and it comes with it. As you might have noticed that some on, um, on Ravelry, sometimes there's some yarns like a Pluto Lopi or a Nutiden from Sweden. And sometimes people will hold a silk mohair next to it. And so I'm actually knitting here with some of the leftover white from my sweater. I am knitting a hat. And the reason why I wanted to knit it with the, uh, with the silk mohair was so that it would give it a little bit of a strength in the uh, ribbon because I didn't want it to overstretch. But uh, anyway, if you have any questions, this is um, Caitlin Hunter's angle, and I'm very excited about showing you the finished piece. I'm very excited about showing you the yarn. It's coming very fast. It's uh, being packed up right now, and it's really a lot of fun. So we've got right now, I just have these three colors to show you. And um, so it's really um, just a fun um, thing. It's great for us to practice mindful knitting. Sometimes we try to hurry, hurry, hurry everything that we're doing. And with the Manche Lopis, they just remind us to take a step back and take our little breath and just enjoy the moment. So 
while sometimes we rush as well, with this, it's nice to look at it. It's nice to feel that connection that is not that far from the sheep that gave us this wool and to feel good about what we are knitting. So if you have any questions, leave them down there and I'm happy to, um, to, uh, to answer them when I get a chance. And I'm just really excited about this yarn. I'm excited for it to come and I'm excited for everyone to try it out. And some people are gonna love it. Some people might say, oh no, it breaks because that's how you pull. And some people are gonna say, oh, it helped me to just slow down a little bit. So this is Manchelopi. And this is from Wool Dreamers, from the sheep to your hands. And this is my angle from Caitlin Hunter. I look forward to hearing your feedback on it and getting you all trying it. Thank you and have a great day.